rotoscoping has now been turned into a high-tech invention, thanks to uh, Bob, who is, uh, who is, of course, you've already met him. He's the art director on uh, Richard Linklater's uh, new film, Making Life. Uh, Bob Sabastin is here to show us, what did I say? Waking Life. Not, what did I say? Winking Making Life? life. <laughs> Making. Kind of does make life. Waking Life. Uh, Bob is here to show us the tool that he uh, created to do this. It's have you, good to have you back. Thanks. Um, so what we did is we filmed a short little uh, few seconds. Yep. And uh, you've got it on a Mac. You used iMovie to edit it down. Yep. We picked 10 or 15 seconds, and uh, i just been here for a couple of, like, two hours animating. You worked it. hard on it. Um, this is the clip. I don't know. If Actually, let's know. play the clip. Yeah. Um, we can take audio from this. Uh, this is... Uh, this is something, uh, we just, silly little thing. Go ahead and play the that. The principle of rotoscoping is very simple. You see, you take a real-life picture of a person, and then you use technology to turn it into an animation. How now, do they do it? It's amazing. Now, I tried to give you something to work with yeah. there. Uh, so there's some, some, some movement and stuff. Is that good? Is that something you want to have? Yeah, that's really good. Um, you know, we try to get, that, that's one of the reasons we're rotoscoping, is we want very real performances, the kind of things that real people do that'd be hard to make up if you were just drawing from scratch. Animators, I mean, one of the things animators do is they try to cre recreate reality, right? I mean, yeah. Um, for our film, uh, we didn't need people with animation experience so much. I think we were saying before, it's right. like real artists. The painting and visual style. I love that. So you would give them a section of the film. This is the software you wrote, right? Yeah, and uh, it, it takes a Wacom tablet, so you have a pressure-sensitive line here. So they're used to um, that if they've used Painter or Photoshop. Yeah. They have some... Yeah, or even just a lot of people are just using paintbrushes. It's very... It's, it's know, no, not much different. Learn to look at the screen and That's not the hardest hand, thing, right? Yeah. That's about it. Um, but basically, the idea is that, you know, you just sort of draw on top of the frames, and you go forward frame by frame. Give me some eyebrows. Um, do you have to do every frame? You do not have to do every frame, and that's the main advantage to this software is what, it, what I can do, say I draw this line for the eyebrow, can skip forward a few frames and draw another line. And then as I go back, you see um, see these lines with the red in them. Those have been interpolated automatically by so the computer. The compu it's, it's called tweening in uh, another animation uh -huh. software. So the computer does the in-between uh, frames that you didn't actually hit by hand. Right. Draw. So it saves just enough time where one person can do a whole scene of animation. Oh, very And neat. it also looks very smooth. You know, it'd be very hard to get that smoothness by hand. Right. Uh, w what else uh, is involved here? Do you have to draw um, everything, every detail? Well, I was going to show you that, like, for for your head, for example, it doesn't change gen general no, shape. No, right. So I just draw that once, and that's treated more and as a And you move that cutout. around. I, use, I have a little hand tool here, and the tablet has a tilt sensitivity. I don't know if it's going to let me do it, but... Uh, uh, so as I tilt the pen, I can move it and just position oh, it. Oh, neat. So uh, that's also really... you got a giant movie. floating Leo pumpkin head. <laughs> Very so handy. You do things in layers and you turn them all on. Oh, you, you, did my, you did my clothes too? And there's my face? Yeah, your shirt is just a frozen layer and then the face is what people tend to stare at. So that's what you really need to right. focus time it's, on. It's interesting too. And this is where, you're, where an artist is adding their style. I mean, this is very stylized. Mm -hmm. I don't really look like that. <laughs> okay, just kidding. <laughs> this is, but, that's, but that's part of the fun of it is the, is the art. This is a beautiful program. Now, you, this is not publicly available. Uh, not yet. I'm kind of wondering what to do about that. I, don't I, I think it's remarkable. You wrote it in C? <laughs> uh, yeah, C, C++. For the Mac? For the Mac, uh, using Code Warrior. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, I, how, how, how many uh, versions have you gone through now? I mean, it looks very polished. Up to 2.21. It's been, every project we do is, uh, I add a little bit to the software. Yeah. Waking Life really required a lot of new I stuff bet. for the big screen. What a great way to, to kind of hammer out some of the details on this. Oh, yeah, 70 yeah. Different it looks artists so much done. better, like, than when we first started. Yeah, absolutely. Now, so basically what this program is doing is it's got the real video underneath and allows you to do an animation, actually multiple layers on top yeah, of it. Yeah, you take the video out, and I think you just want to take a look at the, the finished animation. Yeah, let's see the finished have animation. Have saved this quick time okay. clip. Um, so, Bob, it took you, what you said, a couple of hours to do this? Uh, yeah, about, I guess about two hours, hour and a half. All right, we're going to do it full screen here. Yeah. All right, here it is. The principle of rotoscoping is very simple. You see, you take a real life picture of a person, and then you use technology to turn it into an animation. How do they do it? It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's really great. I think that is really Cool. And, you, and, and now that's a quick and dirty version. I noticed in the movie there's color, there's more detail. Yeah. But you don't have to. I mean, what's interesting about this is with simple lines, you can capture a lot of expression. Yeah, it really doesn't take much to isolate the person. Or not isolate. 
what, get, the, get their characters. Get, get, capture it, yeah. Mm -hmm. What uh, what would you like to do uh, in the future with this? You want to do more feature films? Uh, th more film projects. I don't know about feature films. Just I like pushing the software a little bit and then working with it. So. And you've been working down there in Austin, uh, Austin. doing documentaries and, and things like that with yeah. this technique. Yeah, we've done a lot of documentary shorts. This is the first thing we've done that's narrative. All right. I, I am s really excited about seeing the film, uh, Waking Life, and I look forward to some of the things that uh, to see other things that you've cool. done with this.